Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's episode of CHS Presents Health Connect. I'm Dr. Patrick O'Shaughnessy, Catholic Health Services, Senior Vice President of Medical Affairs and Chief Medical Officer. Catholic Health Services of Long Island is an integrated healthcare delivery system with some of the region's finest health and human services agencies. CHS includes six hospitals, three skilled nursing facilities, a regional home nursing service, hospice, and a multi-service community-based agency for persons with special needs. Under the sponsorship of the Diocese of Rockville Center, CHS serves hundreds of thousands of Long Islanders each year, providing care that extends from the beginning of life to helping people live their final years in comfort, grace, and dignity. CHS has a commitment to quality, and through this show and many community health initiatives, we aim to promote good health and provide you access to the care that you may need. I'd also like to thank and recognize each of CHS's 22,000 employees and affiliated medical staff members for their ongoing commitment to quality and service excellence, which is evident at each and every patient encounter. You all are the face of CHS, and we thank you for all that you do for our patients and residents every day. On today's show, since the 1980s, the volume of ambulatory services and ambulatory surgeries being performed in the United States has increased dramatically. Ambulatory care platforms are therefore expanding, and CHS is proud to offer some exciting new services in state-of-the-art facilities. Advances in medical technology, such as improvements in anesthesia and the development of minimally invasive and even non-invasive procedures, have allowed many procedures to move from inpatient or hospital-based services to ambulatory settings. Services provided in this setting can now be provided safely and more comfortably in an office-based environment that makes for a more relaxed environment for patients and their families. For our viewers at home today, we think you're going to really enjoy this show. Uh, Ambulatory services are expanding throughout the healthcare paradigm, and what that means is what was traditionally done in a hospital-based setting is moving to the ambulatory or outpatient setting, allowing us to continue to provide the right care by the right people in the right place. And it also allows us to cluster services together in what is called a medical mall concept or a surgical mall concept, where we could have physician's offices based next door to laboratory services, radiology services, infusion centers, making the overall experience uh, the best possible for our patients. To speak more on this topic, I'll be joined today by Patricia Day, the Vice President of Ambulatory Services at St. Francis Hospital, the Heart Center, and Dr. Johnny Cow, the Director of Radiation Oncology at Good Samaritan Hospital Medical Center. Stay tuned to find out more about non-hospital ambulatory services that may benefit you or a loved one on today's episode of CHS Presents Health Connect. Hello and welcome back to CHS Presents Health Connect. Ambulatory services that enable a patient to return home the same day are becoming increasingly popular. Joining me today to tell us more about some services patients can receive on an ambulatory basis from St. Francis Hospital is Patricia Day, Vice President of Ambulatory Services for the hospital. Welcome, Patricia. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit more about the services that are offered at 2200 Northern Boulevard in, in Roslyn. I had the pleasure to be at the opening ceremony there, and it really is an incredible facility. Well, thank you, and thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm. 2200 Northern Boulevard is a concept, it was a concept that started about, I would say, five or six years ago, and the thought was to try to create a comprehensive um, medical neighborhood, so to speak, right. where we could combine all of the ambulatory services that a patient would need. And we feature our anchor tenant, who is our cancer institute there, and we built all of the services around what our cancer patients would need in order to receive comprehensive care. So we have the infusion center, which is the, the main center that uh, our cancer patients use, but then all of the support services 
uh, to go along with, with the infusion center are also in the facility. So we have medical oncology, we have surgical oncology, we have pharmacy and laboratory and radiology services all under one roof. That's really a, you know, an incredible service for our patients when you think about it. And I wanted to share with the viewers the whole concept of the medical mall or procedural mall where all of these services are clustered. So as you come into the facility, and for our viewers at home, I, I did want to show a, a few pictures of uh, really just how aesthetically beautiful it is as well. Uh, it's the same high quality staff and personnel from St. Francis providing the same care in the hospital, but in a, a beautiful, relaxed, concierge-like environment. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the design. Yes, well, you know when you go into a hospital, sometimes it's very um, confusing for yes. patients because there's so many things going on. So 2200 Northern Boulevard allowed us to relocate the services in a facility where patients could, there's easy and ample parking and access to parking, and then they come right in and the services are right there. They walk in, the infusion center is there, just across from the infusion center is medical oncology, mm -hmm. and as I mentioned, all of the other services and programs, the physicians, as well as the ancillary and support services that would be needed are there. So the genetics counseling, the research, the pain management, the surgical and medical oncology, as I mentioned, the pharmacy, and even an outpatient pharmacy will be added shortly. Um, we have... So patients could actually fill their prescriptions right there before they leave? Correct, correct. Wonderful. Um, everything is, it's designed to be convenient for patients, for access and one-stop shopping, so they don't ever have to leave the facility to get services that they need. And even referrals and support services are also there and available in the building. We're looking forward to bringing in radiation oncology, which is planned, and we hope to open that up in 2017. And we're also going to be adding an ambulatory surgery center in the facility as well. So truly a one-stop shopping concept. Wow, so that's incredible. So, so on top of the cancer services center that's provided there, they'll also have the ability for ambulatory surgery. Let's talk a little bit about that. What types of procedures will be offered at the St. Francis Ambulatory Surgery Center? Most of our ambulatory surgery uh, services right now are, are orthopedic related, so there's a lot of arthroscopy mm -hmm. and, uh, and just orthopedic joint replacement, things like that. Well, not joint replacement, but joint mm -hmm. repair services that will, will go on surgeries that will be able to be performed. There's an awful lot of pain management as mm -hmm. well that uh, is going on, and then there's a lot of general surgery, hernia repairs, and, and a lot of endoscopy services as well. So those services will be available through our ambulatory surgery center when it opens. So those services will be shifting from the hospital into this new state-of-the-art facility, but again, I want to stress for our viewers at home, these are the same doctors, these Absolutely. are the same anesthesiologists, the same specialists. We've actually had Dr. Bumi Marotra, our uh, chairman for oncology and our chair of the service line for oncology services, talk a little bit about the types of services in a prior show. He was you know, extremely excited about this, and I can see why, given what services are now available to his patients. Certainly. You know, St. Francis has always been known for its excellence in cardiac care, and uh, Dr. Marotra actually coined the term putting our hearts into cancer care. Right. And we're very proud of the fact that we just came through uh, some a couple of regulatory uh, surveys, if you will. The American College of Surgeons has the Commission on Cancer, which is the highest regulatory body um, that looks at and evaluates cancer programs. And we're very proud to say that our program was recently reviewed in December of 2015, and we received commendation, accreditation with commendation across all of our oncology services. So we're very proud of that. It's wonderful. We also recently had the Joint Commission Correct. come and survey us as well, and they had zero findings. Yeah, that's really an feat. incredible uh, finding. And, and I yes. want to stress that for the viewers at home is that uh, we take quality and patient safety first and foremost. Uh, it is our number one priority. So we go through all the key regulatory surveys prep and to make sure that our facilities are state of the art, safe and effective for our patients. And the fact that you came through that survey without a single deficit is quite you know, a testament to the staff and their commitment to quality and safety for our patients. Yes, our patients are, are, are very, when they come to us, they're very excited and appreciative of the services that we provide and how we provide them. We're also very proud as a magnet hospital mm -hmm. to also note that our oncology nurses, the uh, nurses in our infusion center are all oncology certified, 100% of them are, which is, uh, again, a testament to their 
a dedication and commitment yes. to service and quality and patient safety. And uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful service. And all the support services, the patient navigation, we have palliative care services on board, genetics counseling, social work, nutritionists. Everybody comes together as one team. And um, the focus is on the patient, the patient's journey through, through, uh, through their cancer and, treatment. And the reason why that's so important, as you described, it's really bringing that full team together to provide comprehensive care yes. for the full spectrum of that disease process. Yes. You know, and I get asked many times, you know, Dr. Rowe, where should I need to go for uh, complex cancer care? And I tell them, you can stay within CHS and we have these services. You don't need to go out of state. You don't need to go into the city. We have state-of-the-art services providing the highest quality of care right in your backyard. And now, in a beautiful ambulatory setting. And what would be one thing that you'd want to share with our viewers at home about the center and about the service, aside from what you discussed today? Basically, I would want um, our viewers to know that there is a level of compassion that is unprecedented. And we see it across all of CHS, and particularly within cancer services. It's a difficult diagnosis. Sure is. Um, and so there's the, the, the caring then and the concern, not only for the patient, but for the patient's family and the patient's support network. And we are comprehensive in our approach to care, so we take all of that into consideration. Um, we even have pastoral care services available, and there are a number of support services and classes that we offer for patients and their caregivers to, again, help through the journey. And then we have a survivorship program as well. It's really incredible. Uh, I want to take an opportunity here to thank uh, Patricia Day for joining us. Uh, we have to take a quick break, but we'll continue our discussion uh, right after this. Welcome back to CHS Presents Health Connect. Today we're speaking about the non-hospital ambulatory services offered through Catholic Health Services of Long Island. And joining me now is Dr. Johnny Cow, the Director of Radiation Oncology at Good Samaritan Hospital Medical Center. Welcome, Dr. Cow. Thank you for and having me. And thank you for joining us. So you know where I always start these conversations. Uh, quality and patient safety come first. And obviously, as we talk about cancer services and the complexity of care, uh, that patients require. Tell me a little bit about uh, Good Samaritan Hospital's uh, Radiation Oncology Center and the services that are provided there. Yeah, first, let me start by saying that radiation therapy is uh, the use of high energy x rays to mm -hmm. treat cancer. Mm -hmm. So for some patients, it's the only treatment we need. And for other patients, it could be combined with either surgery or anti cancer drug therapy. And compared to surgery, radiation preserves the organ that we treat so we could safely treat a larger area than, than surgery. And compared to chemotherapy, it's a treatment that we can aim. Right. So for our viewers at home, when you think about oncology care, it's a complete spectrum, many times involving all of the components you just discussed. So mm -hmm. medical oncology, mm -hmm. surgical oncology, and radiation oncology. Okay. Uh, share a little bit about the radiation oncology perspective and the ambulatory nature of services that are provided for our patients. Yeah. So. Um, Patients um, who have cancer, obviously, deserve the highest quality cancer care. And we want to give that care in, in an environment that's sensitive, compassionate, and, and caring. But the fundamental technical challenge of radiation therapy is to eradicate all of those cancer cells while leaving the normal cells unharmed. And we're usually able to do this, but not always. Right. And we could maximize the odds of success by using the highest level of technology, and I believe, most importantly, through physician skill and, and judgment. And at Good Samaritan, we certainly have both. Uh, we're very blessed. So tell us a little bit about the technology offered at Good Samaritan. Right. At Good Samaritan, we offer the most sophisticated radiation technology available. When we uh, upgraded our radiation equipment a few years ago, uh, we selected the Varian True Beam, which is the highest level of technology from the world's number one manufacturer. We're the only hospital in Suffolk County with this technology. And that really? places, it places us clearly at the forefront of cancer care in Long Island. So it goes back to what I always say, and I get phone calls, emails all the time. Dr. O, 
where do I go? I've just been given this horrible diagnosis, and I say Catholic Health Services, and I point them in the direction. And Good Samaritan being a hub for cancer services in Suffolk County, it's uh, wonderful to hear that we have state-of-the-art services available, in fact, unique only to Good Samaritan. Right. Wonderful. Uh, how about uh, the patient's experience? Uh, you know, you mentioned it briefly in your introduction. Obviously, this is a very challenging time for folks. Mm -hmm. I've gone through this in my family, my own father, uh, and providing that comprehensive care, but also some of the things that are outside of traditional medicine, compassion, hand-holding, mm -hmm. the things that I know at Good Samaritan we deliver to our patients. Can you talk a little bit about those experiences in your center? Absolutely. So patients um, receive their daily radiation treatment takes about 15 to 30 minutes a day. And that continues for between one to two months. So we really get to know our patients very well uh, by seeing them every day right. during a challenging, and the families, of course, yes. during a very challenging time in, in their lives. And so whether it's the nurses, the physicians, the front desk, the, um, the radiation therapist who actually delivered the treatment, we all place uh, those patients at the center, first and foremost. And I, I, let me give you a couple of examples about Please. what we do. So we actually start treating patients at 7 a.m., which is a lot earlier than a lot of other departments, because some of our patients continue to work um, after treatment. And uh, so another example is that when a patient first places a phone call to our department to, to be scheduled, we get them in within 48 hours because we don't want there to be any delay Anxiety. in starting treatment. Right. Ex exactly. Um, so in terms of specific uh, feedback from our patients, I'm particularly proud that 99% of our patients tell us on surveys that if, uh, if they were to recommend a, a department to someone who needs radiation, they would, they would choose Good Sam. That's incredible. 99%. 99% and um, we've grown our patient volume year over year, four straight years, which suggests that our uh, core of referring physicians uh, has confidence in both our service and, and our outcomes. Well, that I know because they speak so highly of you and I know you professionally as well and I know the quality of care that you and your team deliver. Tell us a little bit about, from a regulatory perspective, some of the wonderful accolades that Good Samaritan has achieved through the Committee on Cancer and others, so that our viewers at home know that it's not just patients stating things right. are good. It's actually actually outside regulators coming in and showing that and documenting that we meet the highest standards. Yeah, so there are many um, uh, regulatory agencies that review cancer programs, and obviously the most prestigious one is the American College of Surgeons Committee uh, on Cancer, and we've uh, gotten the highest scores for, uh, I think it's over a decade, you know, continuously. You know, we are also certified by the National Association of Breast Centers uh, in Radiation Oncology by the American uh, College of Radiology. So um, certainly across the board, you know, we're a well-recognized um, uh, cancer center that Yes. operates at the highest level. No question. Some really wonderful accolades. What's new on the horizon for radiation oncology? What's coming down the pike? You know, many of our viewers, we're always waiting for the right. next iPhone, the next new piece of technology, how that's going to impact our life. Medicine is no different. And every day, new technology is coming forward. What's, what's new in your field? Well, in our field, you know, the technology continues to improve, but I think we're starting to think in terms of quality and systems. So, you know, at Good Samaritan, we've developed something we proudly call the Good Sam Quality System. It's built upon pioneering work done on uh, adopting lean thinking into radiation oncology uh, from University of Michigan. And we've built upon that um, by developing uh, the, the Good Sam Quality System, which contains three key elements. Number one, we use the most sophisticated imaging to accurately target the tumor. Often it's MRI or PET scans. The second thing we do is we pay very close attention to limiting radiation dose to normal organs. Correct. And we can only do that by precisely targeting the radiation. So precision therapy. Precision therapy, exactly. And the third thing we do is we have a very comprehensive safety program. Um, so we use extensive use of checklists, and Wonderful. we have peer review, Wonderful. so we have second and third checks, uh, double and triple checks before we, we treat each patient. So yeah. I think that's yeah. what we want to, 
to, to be known for. I am so glad that you shared that with our viewers. I mean, that's near and dear to me, my background. And uh, it's one of the things that we love to see cascading throughout the organization, right. making sure that we're providing the highest quality care and putting patient safety first. So uh, thank you, Dr. Cal, uh, for joining us. Uh, we will be right back. Hello and welcome back. Some final thoughts around today's ambulatory services show. As you heard from our guests, uh, CHS is very proud to be at the forefront of ambulatory service platform development for our healthcare system. As you heard, we're able to provide high quality services and the best uh, experience of care for our patients in a relaxed office-based environment. And it really allows us in healthcare at CHS to change the healthcare paradigm uh, to model around what we call population health management, which is really, again, providing the right care by the right people in the right setting and at the right time. If you'd like to know more about CHS's non-hospital options, ambulatory service options, or to make a gift in support of this or another program that is important to you, please visit chsli.org. From there, you can click through to the websites of each of our healthcare partners for more information on ways to give. We are always grateful for the community's support because your gift today helps shape the healthcare of tomorrow. Thank you for watching today. If you have any medically related questions you'd like me to answer on future shows or topics you'd like to see showcased, please email us at healthconnect at chsli.org. Please include your name and a way to contact you in case we need to reach you. I'm Dr. Patrick O'Shaughnessy, and I hope to see you next time on CHS Presents Health Connect.